Hey, Luke. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking head <laughs> <laughs> you got me. You did it. <laughs> uh. Hey, Luke, let's talk about Ultra Mobile for a minute. Yeah. And some of its best phones. Okay. We've been doing this series on best phones at different carriers. Right. And today is Ultra Mobile Day. Okay. So what we do is we pick out four categories or user types, demographics, and find the best phone for that type of person. Yeah. These are good pillars to start with. Yeah. A lot of times we get people that are, say, hey, what's I have this carrier. What's the best phone I can get? And and then the next question that we ask is, well, what do you want to do? Because mm-hmm. there's a lot of best phones, but that really depends on what do you do with your phone. So there's kind of four main categories that we usually come to is mm-hmm. the what's the best of the best, the flagship. Yep. What is the best basic phone what's the entry level phone yep what is the best all around phone kind of if i want to have a certain budget in mind or i want something good and current but not necessarily cutting edge yeah and then what is the best for uh something different sometimes it's prog- productivity sometimes what's you know i just want a cool phone yeah uh and that's kind of what falls in for ultra mobile today in that fourth category is a folding phone yeah so you know folding technology folding screen technology is something that has been around for the last couple of years and it's just gotten better and better yeah um so this phone kind of falls in line with mid-range to some high end uh but it's it's i don't necessarily need the best of the best i don't want something basic but all around is fine, but is there something maybe is cool? Yeah, I'm intrigued by the folding technology. Right. And want to get my hands on something like that. Yeah, so those are the four categories that we're going to tackle for Ultra Mobile. Mm-hmm. Again, they have more phones than this. Yep. But these are probably the four to start with that would probably you listen, say, oh, that sounds like me. Mm-hmm. Maybe start with this phone in that category and then go from there. Um Let's start at entry level. Okay. Just a basic phone. What is the phone at Ultra Mobile that I would get? So for about $150, mm-hmm. which is not very much, no, you can get your hands on the Nokia G10. Nokia. Yeah. So this is uh, one that Nokia isn't offered through too many carriers. No. But when we see them offered at carriers, we take notice. They are a good phone brand they are and they've been making phones for a very long time yeah and they they do a really good job of supporting their devices with multiple years of software updates Mm -hmm. which is important to a lot of people yeah so for the g10 you're going to get an android 11 experience which is a Mm -hmm. semi-current i mean we're talking about android 12 and then maybe 13 maybe by the time you're listening to this watching this but uh, android 11 still it's not antiquated no six and a half inch screen Three gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage. So, it's, I mean, those are entry-level specifications. Yeah. Not going to knock your socks off. Nope. Uh, 4G LTE. Okay. So that is another difference for some people is I don't care about 5G. Yeah. The speeds don't matter to me. Most people that are getting a basic phone, the internet browsing speed doesn't really matter. Yeah. I, 4G to 5G isn't going to change when you're texting people. Right. Posting to Facebook. Uh, just reading emails, things like that. Sure. This has uh, multiple cameras, 13 Mm -hmm. with a two megapixel. There's uh, actually two two megapixel cameras on there. Okay. Uh, And a big battery, 5,000 milliamp. So when you have a processor that's not high end, it sips at Mm -hmm. the power and it doesn't uh, tear through the battery. So you're going to get, you know, probably two days of life out of this thing on a charge. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, 5,000 milliamp battery, I mean spoiler alert the high-end phone that we're going to recommend today has the same size battery yeah with a way faster processor yep so that might give you an idea of how long of a charge this nokia is going to last yeah. so yeah for about 150 dollars, g10 is one that we recommend for entry level yep moving up to the top of the ladder sure we'll we'll go with the flagship yeah so this is the person who says i want it all yeah give me the best Throw me the best package you can give me. Mm-hmm. I want the, the fastest, best thing that I can drive off the lot today. Uh-huh. So what do we have here? So this is the one, if you've listened to any of our best phones at other brands, it, you know what I'm going to say. It is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Mm-hmm. This is the best phone in uh, 
from Samsung. Yeah. Uh, it has all of the features that you would expect from a high end device. It has uh, a 6.8 inch high refresh rate screen. It's going to have support for the S Pen, mm -hmm. which is uh, Samsung stylus. So yep. if you're doing a document markup, drawing photos, any anything like that, uh, you're going to be able to do that. This runs Android 12, mm -hmm. so it's the most current operating system. 5,000 milliamp battery, like I mm -hmm. said. Uh, it does have three cameras for all of the different uh, photo modes that you might want, whether it's yeah. telephoto, uh, a nice huge sensor for uh, very detailed mm -hmm. images, high dynamic range photos. Uh, it's going to have an IP68 rating mm -hmm. uh, with Gorilla Glass. Uh, so it's going to be able to stand up to yeah. anything that you're doing. This is the phone that is uh, the best thing in an all-in-one package that you can get right now. Yeah, it's stylish it, and uh, has it's polished. It is a sleek, you know, very cool design, and it's strong. I yeah, mean, it's it's just an all-around monster. Yeah, but that comes with a price. So yeah. for Ultra Mobile, that the S22 Ultra is coming in at thirteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So. You know, you go from the Nokia at 150 up to 1300, it's quite a swing. Yeah. But a power user, it's worth the money mm -hmm. to get all those features if that's what you really need. And it's not any more expensive here than if you were to get it on your own. Right. So it just happens to be available through Ultra Mobile. Right. Now, if somebody says, okay, surely there's something in the middle here. Sure. That says, okay, I like to balance performance and capability with money yeah i have a budget yeah i need to kind of think with my wallet here mm -hmm. where does that where do you find the sweet spot sure for that so the sweet spot is the same sweet spot that we've seen from other brands other carriers uh that is the google pixel 6 yeah uh this phone at 650 bucks is going to give you a lot of what that flagship experience is going to give you with even something, some stuff that they're not going to give you. Yeah. Um, but it's not going to have all of those high end things. It's not mm -hmm. going to have the super high refresh rates. It's not going to have, uh, you know, some, it's not going to have S pen support, mm -hmm. some things like that, but you're still getting a 6.4 inch screen. You're getting Android 12. And since it's a Google product, you're going to get upgraded to the, next operating system most likely you're going to have all the security updates mm -hmm. monthly as they come out you're going to you're going to have all of the the googly things mm -hmm. that uh android runs off of is just going to be that even better tailored experience for a pixel phone yeah there are features that are exclusive to pixel mm -hmm. so there are things that you know not only is the camera really good but there are some shooting modes and capabilities within that software wise and AI wise that are not available on other stock Android right. or Android 12 experience phones. Right. So for $650, it's a nice mid to upper tier phone. Yep. It's going to give you the performance that you want, need, and probably give you, I would say, two generations of, uh, you know, at least two years of Solid performance. Yeah. Okay. So those are those three main categories. Now, if I want something slightly different, mm -hmm. I want to, I want to stand out a little bit. I want something cool, or I like the idea of maybe a um, little bit more portability, something yeah. like that. Uh, what is that phone that we recommend? So we recommend the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Mm -hmm. That is one of the folding phones. There are a couple of different form factors or designs in folding phones. Yeah. This one is the fold not the flip mm -hmm. this is one that opens up or closes kind like of like a book a, like a book mm -hmm. uh, you're going to have a 6.2 inch display by itself mm -hmm. but when you open this up it opens to a 7.6 inch display which is kind of tablet like and also has support for the s pen stylus yep so if you're into you know marking up documents or notes or you know really into uh you know productivity mm -hmm. That's something that you might want to consider. Um, it does not come with the S Pen, right? But it is. It does support that. And here, it's a nice mix of hardware uh, that pushes towards the upper end. It's an Android 11 mm -hmm. software experience with a Qualcomm 888 processor. So that's 
towards the upper tier. Um, if you're paying attention or you really care about hardware performance, you understand that this isn't quite bleeding edge processor, but it's got a lot of memory. Yeah. 12 gigabytes of RAM, lots of storage, 256 gigabytes there. So it is a um, very robust experience. Yeah. But you're going to pay more for the the design. There's a little bit of a compromise there. So mm -hmm. you're looking at about $1,500 for something like this. But again, this price isn't really outside of what you would see from buying it direct from sure. Samsung. Sure. Uh, so the Galaxy Z Fold 3 for $1,500, I would say, is the one that we would recommend for folding. Mm -hmm. uh, again, they have other phones to choose from, but these are four kind of starting points to kind of look at if you're one of these or close to one of these. Say, hey, that sounds like me. Sure. Uh, you know, these are the four that we pick for Ultra Mobile as of spring 2022. Thanks for watching. Thank you. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. Thanks for listening. We appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, feedback, concerns, comments, anything, shoot us an email at podcast at androidguys.com. We'd love to hear from you one way or the other. Uh, Luke, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do yeah. they do that? Uh, I am on Instagram and Twitter at Luke Gall, G-A-U-L. And I'm on Instagram at Scott Webster and Twitter as swebster77. Until next time, thanks for listening. See ya.